Hippie Hill, I need y'all to get ready and put your hands together and make some noise for the one, the only, Jeff Ross! Happy 420, San Francisco! That's what I'm talking about! I never knew there was a black hippie in my life until I came here. This is the most beautiful 420 party I've ever seen in my life. Give it up for God for this beautiful day. And nature for giving us this beautiful herb to take in. And this guy for wearing his shirt from fifth grade. And this motherfucker looks like he puts fentanyl in his weed. God damn. I'm here to celebrate not just 420, but life in general. We are alive. We are a f we are breathing. I want to acknowledge where we are right now. We are in the Robin Williams Meadow here at Golden Gate Park. Give it up for San Francisco legend. The one and only Robin Williams makes some noise. Come on back in the back and hand job hill make some noise for Robin. If you could hear me back there on Hippie Hill, raise your hands. Oh, I see you, baby. How many Robin Williams fans in the front over here? That is beautiful. And you see, I got my Bob Saget sweatshirt on today. Give it up for the one and only Bob Saget. He was my friend. He was one of my best friends. A year ago on 420, Bob and I were in San Francisco. We did a show together right here in town. So I'm missing him even more today. And I get to share that love with all his fans. I mean, let's face it, Bob Saget was America's dad. Like Bill Cosby. Except Bob put people to sleep the old fashioned way. <laughs> Yes, give it up for security for taking care of us up here. I don't know how much security we need at a weed rally. Ain't nobody rushing the stage on weed. <laughs> I love you too, bud. I love you so much too. Look at this guy. Looks like he sleeps in the fucking park. Tell me. <laughs> Oh, I know I look like Bruce Willis if he died hard. I can roast myself all day. You think I like looking like if Amazon sold a Jeff Bezos blow-up doll? <laughs> I know I look like Pitbull if he got attacked by a Pitbull. <laughs> I know I look like Rosie O'Donnell's clitoris. <laughs> I know I look like <laughs> I can roast myself till tomorrow. I don't give a shit. Yeah. There's hella jail niggas here. I know I look like Vin Diesel if he were neither fast nor furious. <laughs> yes, what a crowd, man. You getting a good video of this? You're going to jerk off on your Facebook page later? Look at these guys. All right. All right, kill, kill it with the cameras, guys, in the front. It's very distracting. It's fine. I don't need to be your, you know. Take a break, buddy. Like, seriously. Yeah, take a break. You're still doing it. You're not taking a break. No. You're just a homeless weirdo with a Facebook page. All right, I get it. Everybody has their own kink. I'm okay with that. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling invincible, I just got my 17th vaccine shot. I got the Johnson and 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 Johnson. I've been licking strangers assholes at the airport all day. I'm immune. I got the herd immunity, you heard? Any other COVID survivors here, make some noise. Make some noise in the back if you survive COVID. 
I was so sick. I feel good now, but I was so sick. Plus, I lost my sense of taste. Went to see Dave Matthews Band in concert. <laughs> it's not bad. You might not point that at me. Second call. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, man. I'm, I come in love. I come in love. You know how it is. Security, give it up for these guys. The medics wearing the yellow vests. They look good. They got one guy in the disabled area, one fucking disabled guy in the front. <laughs> uh, and this guy who looks like he walked here from Vietnam in 1973. <laughs> uh, 63, way to go, buddy. You're still wearing the same shoes. God damn. Golden Gate Park, everybody's reuniting. This is such a perfect day. I don't even know what to say. How many people are smoking today? Come on, make it loud. How many people are smoking today? How many people are making love tonight? That's what I'm talking about. After two years of lockdown, it's good to be around people again. I'm gender fluid now. My pronouns are if and when. <laughs> if you're down, tell me when, motherfuckers. All right. Hey, bud, take a break with the phone. It's a lot. It's, take a break. Be present. Be in the moment. Why don't you? Thank you. Yes, man. Everybody's on their phones when we're in this beautiful park surrounded by Mother Nature. It's a beautiful day. Enjoy the moment. Thank you, Mac Miller, if he had leukemia. <laughs> How you doing, Rabbi? Great to see you, too. There's a lot of crazy shit going down in the front up here. <laughs> oh, my God. 420, man. Maybe I'm crazy, but I think the police should be allowed to smoke weed, too. They can put it out every night. Attention, we have a 420 in progress. <laughs> Bring your own evidence. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thank you. Take a break there, you big tall bastard. Shouldn't you be protecting the wall on Game of Thrones right now? <laughs> Sit down, Lurch. Give it up for Burner, my man Burner. <laughs> Put this whole crazy day together. I wore my Bob Saget sweatshirt. If you have it in your heart, donate to Bob's favorite charity, the Scleroderma Research Foundation. His sister was a victim of this disease, Scleroderma. I promised his family I would mention it today. Bob Saget, no greater person, was on Full House right here in San Francisco. Any Full House fans? Bob was the greatest guy ever, the greatest guy ever. And we lost him, and it really sad to lose Bob Saget and Gilbert Gottfried and Will Smith. All in the same few months. That's so sad. Oh, Will Smith, man, they kicked him out of the Academy. <laughs> After he won an Oscar and made a speech and went to the party, they kicked him out. It's like going to a restaurant, eating dinner, having dessert, and they're like, hey, you gotta go. <laughs> well, all right, motherfucker, I'm going. But, exactly, bud, thank you. Um, this guy's walking around with a fishing pole, what the fuck? Look at him, Takaki 6 9 over here. What the fuck's this guy going with his... <laughs> That's the longest cell. We got Shaq's dick in your hand. God damn. That thing. <laughs> oh, I love my job so much, man. I love my job so much. What else can you smoke weed and go to work other than this job right here, right? You got to watch my new show that's coming out on the Food Channel. It's called, Are You Gonna Finish That? I'm going to walk around fancy restaurants eating the food off people's plates. <laughs> I'm going to puke halfway through every episode. Give it up for the camera crews coming in, videotaping all these hippies. 
What's up, dude? Look at look at Asian Asian Eminem over here. What's up, Slim Sushi? <laughs> uh, what's up, you guys? How you guys doing back here? Just fucking hanging out. You guys just chilling. That's cool. Happy 420 for people just coming in right now. Give it up for these ladies coming in late. What's up, ladies? Hell yeah. This is perfect, man. This is perfect. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. I love being a comedian. There's a lot of pressure being a comedian. A lot of pressure. Because I was dating this chick for a few weeks once, and the first time she saw my penis, she was like, is everything a joke with you? This chick's got me watching this show right now called The Handmaid's Tale. Has anybody seen it? She's like, watch Handmaid's Tale with me, baby. It turns me on. So I watched this show. It's pretty good. Elizabeth Moss plays a woman ripped away from her family and forced into sexual slavery. I'm like, this show turns you on? She goes, yeah, I want to role play Handmaid's Tale in the bedroom. I go, no, I'm not doing that. She goes, come on, it'll be fun. I go, what do you want me to do? She goes, well, can you put on this white bonnet and red dress? Wait, I'm the handmaid in your fucking fantasy? She's like, praise be. I was like, we're gonna praise plan B if I get your crazy ass pregnant. And just for the record, I believe in a woman's right to choose everything except which TV shows to binge. Exactly. It's a woman's world now. Give it up for the ladies right there. Come on, the ladies everywhere. The stoner ladies, the ladies with the pink hair. Are you a natural magenta lady? <laughs> wow, I kind of feel like I want to roast some motherfuckers right now. Huh? Stand up here, stand up here. I'll roast this fucking giant fucking... Are you supposed to... Ring the bell at Notre Dame, motherfucker? <laughs> huh? I've been waiting my whole life for this thing to man. You want me to bring people up? I could. We're over here? Oh, uh, this might be tricky. All right, come on up. All right, this guy wants to come up. I'll roast some people on stage. Who's got the guts? Huh? All right, this guy in the orange. All right, this guy in the black hat. Chris, you help me out here. All right, the guy in the red. Any women? Yeah, Chet Hanks right here. Get Chet Hanks. All right. All right, this guy, yeah. lady. I feel bad, but come on to over here. Chris, let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Yeah. All right, come on, miss. That's good. One more. One more. All right. All right, and this last one right here. Come on over here. Help him up, Chrissy. Give it up for Chris Riggins, your host tonight. This should be I've good. I've been waiting my whole life for this nigga. What? I've been waiting my whole life for this nigga. Alright, well, it's good to have dreams, motherfucker. Oh, look at this fucking... What's up, bud? How you doing? Riggins, you better stay close for security. I don't trust any of these motherfuckers. What's going on? I don't know how much I can do. Alright. I can't fight. Look at this guy. What's going on? Well, you don't hit the mic up here in the rest of the mic. It's not a freestyle battle. This is not a freestyle. Hold on, hold no, on, you can't hold roast on, it. Hold on, hold on. Huh? What's, I'm a roast king. Oh, look at this guy. How you doing, man? Eminem, right? Like you said. Sir, congrats on storming the Capitol. <laughs> look at this fucking... Pull your pants up, bro. This is a weed party, not an Adderall party. God damn. What's that? I want to roast his egg ass head he got right here. Look, look at his head right here. Look. Nobody knows what the fuck you're saying, Flavor Flav. Sit down. <laughs> this guy's on fucking eight types of drugs. None of them are weed. This guy's a fucking bike messenger. God damn. <laughs> no. All right, hold on, hold on. Slow down before your pants fall down. I'm gonna walk this way. Hold on, hold on. I'll get to you. Come here, look at this guy. Come over here. Are you a Lyft driver or an Uber driver? I'm a Instacart. 
Look at this guy's dressed for outpatient surgery. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Turn your phone off for a second. Turn your phone off for a second. For a second. What's going on? The funny thing is this guy doesn't even have a fucking bicycle. <laughs> he just fucks with people so hard he's gotta wear a helmet. <laughs> Look at this guy. Hold on a second, sir. This isn't a Wu-Tang reunion. Relax. <laughs> What's going on? What's your name? Glenn. Glenn, what do you do, Glenn, besides have a fucking tiny dick? It's not what your mom said. That's true. You got me on that one. <laughs> uh, my mom wouldn't even fuck you. That's the sad part. I wouldn't fuck your mom. So. Oh my god. Well, welcome to AIDS then. Oh, hi. What's happening, Mocha Princess? That's actually my username. My username is actually has Mocha in it. <laughs> All right, well, they call me Vanilla Latte. <laughs> What's your story? Okay, well... What's your, what's your name? My name is Nijal. You can call me Naya. Because I'm originally from Iowa and I came out here a year ago in my van and now I just got housed. This is my smoke spot every day and this is the first time I've seen it this crowded so... Give it up for Naya, that's awesome. Wow, I love chicks who make their own clothes. <laughs> and do their own hair. I guess I shouldn't talk, this guy's so annoying with his phone. This is your big moment, you're gonna waste it? Anyway, where are you going after this? You're gonna, you're gonna bike up somewhere? I'm gonna go home, it's my daughter's birthday, so we're gonna go to Benihana. I'm just trying to get stoned real quick. Anybody have some weed? That line's too long. No. I'm trying... Everybody's got fucking weed at this party. Here, come here, let's see this guy over here. Let's see this guy over here. Let's see this guy. Dude, shut up for a second and just take your turn. It's all good, I see the weed guy over here. I saw him here last year, too. Look at this guy. Come here, bud. Come here. Last year. What's your name? Victor. Victor, thank you for closing your hookah bar early to come out tonight. <laughs> what do you do, Victor? I'm a tech founder. A what? Tech founder. Tech founder. Oh, that's cool. People just throwing weed up here. That's perfect. This is crazy. No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Alright. Hold on, I gotta work my way back this way. I gotta, I gotta work my way back. Move by just throw weed. Yeah. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Oh, look at you. What's your name? My name is Charleston. Okay. How's that going? You know, I'm uh, just started using my full name one year ago. Legend. What are you guys doing? Are you giving a weed away over here? Yeah. This might be the greatest party in fucking 420 history. Look at this one. How you doing? Look at this little white girl. What's up? Oh my god. I, I would wear two condoms to fuck this chick. <laughs> What's going on? My name's Kylie. Hi Kylie, I like your hat. Did you ever find the Temple of Doom? What happened? That's good. I can't believe that I'm meeting you right now. This is so cool. Wow, give it up for Riley. You got a boyfriend? How do you feel about this guy right here? <laughs> right, Riley, you're very, what's that? Good thing I'm a lesbian. Okay. Wow, give it up for this hot lesbian right here. You know, in these crazy times, it's so important to be able to take a joke in life. Give it up for these people for coming up here and taking a joke. Take a bow, take a bow. Thank you. I love you, bud. Uh, hey, you haven't said one about me yet. What's that? Say something about me. Hey, me Sir. 
I don't I don't make fun of people who only who put fentanyl in their coke. All right. I'll see you home. What's your name? Uh, Alex. Give it up for Alex one time. Look at this fucking trailer trash. <laughs> Love you, Alex. I'll see you home. That's my nephew. <laughs> oh, man. Give it up for all those people for coming up here, man. That was so fun, man. You really got to enjoy life. Live every moment. To the fullest. Hell yeah. That's what I love about 420 so much, man. Uh, <sighs> a long life and a short death. Today we're talking about Robin Williams and, and, and Bob Saget and Gilbert Godfrey and Betty White. Give it up for Betty White. Yeah. 99 years old. The guy who wrote her obituary died 15 years ago. Hey. Betty White was 99 years old. She was so old, the color white is named after her. Oh. And she was my friend. And I told her, I said, Betty, whatever you do, please do not go to that Travis Scott Astro World concert. <laughs> and she said, I have to. I promised Travis I would go. And now she's gone. <laughs> Best piece of ass I ever had in my life. <laughs> so I'll tell you a story about life. We all want to have a long life, right? And a short death, right? Our mortality, a long life and a short death. My cousin Milton was 92 years old. World War II hero. Had a great life and a short death. He was walking up the stairs of the New Jersey Performing Arts Center to see a ballet. He was holding his wife Claire's hand, walking up the steps, and just as he got to the top of the steps, instead of opening the door, he just laid down on the ground and he said, I fucking hate ballet, and he died. <laughs> so a long life and a short death is what I'm talking about today. I feel the love so much out here in San Francisco. Give it up for this beautiful town. Yeah. Yeah. Give it up for Mother Nature for providing the greatest drug known to man, Mara fucking Wada. Yeah. I love you guys so much. Come see me live sometime. You're making me feel so welcome here in San Francisco. I'm gonna smoke a big fat joint right now. Who's gonna light up with me right now? Yeah. What's that? I welcome everywhere. Thank you, my darling. Thank you, my darling. Everybody whip out their weed right now. Let's do this together. On the count of three, everybody say happy 420. One. Two, three! Happy 420! Happy 420, San Francisco! I love you guys so, so much! Have fun!